Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we're going to begin by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And shalom to brothers and uh, pushing this word in truth and sincerity and with charity. We are the brothers of GMS Chicago coming back at you with another lesson. And today we're going to uh, go into the uh, false prophets, which uh, the scriptures tell us in the last days. That they will arise false prophets, but, all right, and we shall know them by their fruits, by the things that they say, right? Uh, Yahweh Shai said that, um, not that which goes into a man's mouth that follows a man, but that which goes out of a man's mouth that follows a man, uh, a man, all right. So, the things that these other camps and these false prophets are speaking, all right, is it, going to ultimately lead uh, the blind, lead it to blind. Blind mm -hmm. lead the blind, they shall both fall into the ditch. Right. All right. We're, we're the ones warning you about the ditch. Okay. So whether they're saying uh, the mark of the beast ain't this, ain't that, that we're in the new covenant, we're in the old covenant, whatever it is they're saying, if it, if it ain't um, backed up by scripture, you know, you should know them. That's right. I did. Isaiah 8 20 tells mm -hmm. to the Lord for the testimony. If they speak not according to this, there's no light in them. All right. But these men were set up to offend, and it's part of the truth, which which further proves that this is the truth. Because it's not men doing this in denominations like Christianity. It's not Jews and Islam doing this, man. Because all that is a raw falsehood anyway. But the scriptures say the truth shall be even spoken of. So these scoffers have to rise up, man. And the more the scoffer, especially the ones who fell out, are the most knowledgeable of this truth outside of the men that's in this truth. They more knowledgeable and privy to the things we do and the way we live. And that's why they be mad anyway, because they realize the Lord took the spirit from them and they can't do it no more. But like the Bible said, these guys are set up to that they have to be there. But go ahead. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, and verse 7. Woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must needs be that offenses come. But woe to that man by whom the offense is coming. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off and cast them from thee. And that's why the scriptures say mortify. It is not literally speaking, man. The Lord said a man shares his own flesh. But what you have to understand is these niggas wasn't willing to fight their flesh, man. They wasn't really to put aside the things that they needed to in the words of the great Christianity, they, mm, they, they, they didn't have what it takes. <laughs> they didn't have what it takes, man. And they had to tell themselves that and it made them mad. So what did they do? They fall out and they lash out against the great men that they couldn't live up to be. Go ahead. It is better for thee to enter his life, hope, or maim, rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. Because that's what's going to happen. They ultimately going to be destroyed. Go to the next scripture. Uh, did you want the second Timothy first? Uh-uh. Uh, Jeremiah. This is uh, Jeremiah 5 and 26. Uh, For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set his snares. They set a trap. They catch men. And see, all this is a trap to catch men. Because, see, once people, and like this brother had mentioned earlier about the filtering process, because I done dealt with these jakes coming in early, you deal with these jakes, you watch these guys, you watch these guys, and see a lot of guys are soft, so they can go along and get along with the nigga who say you can take the whack. They can go along and get along with the nigga who let their women in the congregation. They can go along and get along with all these falsehoods and these IUICs, these Baptist Israelites, you know, because it's still appeasing to their flesh to where it is. You got to cut yourself dealing with the top of the top. And them niggas couldn't take that. They couldn't take reproof and correction from other men. They couldn't stand reproof and correction themselves. Living up to the accountability that it takes to be amongst the, the, the real flock, man. They can't take that. But see, they can go on to some backwash shit and they all going to get destroyed together. No doubt about it. Go ahead. You want the... No, this is Jeremiah. Yeah. Uh, this is Jeremiah 5 and 27. As a cage is, is full of birds, mm -hmm. 
store their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and wax and rich. Especially when you're born up to the higher level, then these commanded generals, these bitches, <laughs> they get the money. The fish up, the fish up. <laughs> Go ahead. Just, I was gonna say uh earlier today I was watching um uh Elder Apostle Ramlob and he was talking about how uh what he called himself General Nate Nate yeah. he got like two or three houses yeah. off them off them my UIC yeah, niggas the hard brought it up too you oh, y'all yeah. gonna buy me another house Cause. Roll that ass. <laughs> hey what you say the dude said all the niggas got called yeah he said he said I got a homie in Safari that nigga got no a few times that don't work. Where you get the money from? He said, hey, he said, I got a friend that's a car. He got a fleet of cars, but the nigga don't work. Where you get the money from? Selling congregation, man. Selling congregation, man. Selling congregation. Go ahead. It says, uh, they are waxing fat, they shine. Yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They're worse than the fucking white man. Go ahead. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy do they not judge. Exactly. Mm-hmm. They're not teaching the scriptures directly and correctly. They're not warning the people for what's to come. Mm-hmm. All right. And they coincided with the so called white man, and they're going to ultimately get people's heads cut off, man. But that's the man who don't give a fuck about the Lord or his message. You could have went off and just been a rapper and mm-hmm. been a wicked nigga. You could have been an NBA nigga and been a wicked nigga. You could have just been some wicked nigga and been a wicked nigga, but you chose to deal with the Lord and his flock. And that's why they had a worse judgment ever set for him. Go ahead. Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Mm-hmm. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely. If you say we already under the new covenant through the false prophets, if you say you can take the wax or the MOTD, you a false prophet. Right. If you say your woman should be in the church with the men, you a false prophet. All right. I, I don't give a fuck what you got to say. Go ahead. And the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. Oh, if you have an unit account, you a false prophet. Mm. And they you, love that. Go ahead. Hanging out with Muslims. Hanging out. Oh, yeah. Say it again. <laughs> if you're hanging out with Muslims, you're a false prophet. Idolatry. Idolatry. Unity camps with, with, with the Farrakhan. Get That's that. The two walk together like they be agreed. Aim on screen for you. Get that. And, 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 and get, uh, be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Go ahead, keep leaving. Mm. What the fuck you hanging out with a Muslim for, nigga? I got the ammo. In the name. Then you trying to put the Lord in this. The Lord ain't got nothing to do with that idolatry. That's idolatry. Go ahead. And my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? So as soon as they get to doing it, just, oh, yeah, this is the community. Then they get to talking the all that new black shit. The community. The community. The sisters. <laughs> so you know the sisters. <laughs> gotta come. Because this. This is what most of they shit about anyway. The damn black woman. <laughs> See, the black woman ain't dealing with you not taking her outside every Saturday and you going to teach with these unruly men in her eyes, so to speak. Sure. You know? So you say, no, 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 baby. We just don't have to do any cat. Oh, y'all in black. Mm. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> you niggas are some monsters and you're going to die, man. Get that. Hey, we ain't see. dealing with no fucking movies. We ain't dealing with no niggas. And we definitely ain't dealing with the so-called white man. That's right. Three. Amos three and three. Can two walk together except they be agreed? No. Right. Will a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he have taken nothing? No. All right. That's that's pretty much the point. If you if you if you amongst men right really real men of the lord they water all these false false prophets is oil it don't mix man you know no fellowship uh, uh light with dark so that means all them fake yep if you can get along with them both of y'all fucking fake mm-hmm. we make great men strong really we ain't fucking with none of y'all but all of y'all want to come against us you niggas are phony and you're going to be put to death a horrible shame and a horrible death in the midst of the congregation. Go ahead. 
This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter mm -hmm. 6 and verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath unrighteousness with uh, hath righteousness with unrighteousness? Mm -hmm. And what communion hath light with darkness? Mm -hmm. And what concord hath Mashiach with Baliyah? <coughs> or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? Right. So those guys that was up there, like the brother said, those guys who was up there with the Muslims, they, they couldn't, they must skip over this part. They boy, nobody so hard. Read. No, like, read, read, read. <laughs> <laughs> read on. Just, uh, read. Second Corinthians 6 and 16. And what agreement hath the temple of the Most High with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power. As the Most High hath said, I will dwell in them. And walk in them. So now, scripture say that they are not all Israel who wants the house of Israel. So those wasn't Israelites up there with Muslims. Mm. Those was niggas hanging out. That's right. Go ahead. And I will be their uh, power, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, coming out from among them, and be ye separate. 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 They don't like us because we don't agree with them. That's right. We not invite nigga. I uninvited myself to the barbecue 15 years ago. I don't want to come. I don't want to fucking come. This why. Ain't none of y'all my fucking friends, man. Because I believe in the Lord, man. And you don't believe in shit. Mm. Go ahead. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, said the Lord Almighty. So the Lord ain't dealing with no nigga who's talking about he an Israelite, but he gonna go and have a Muslim fest. Mm. He gonna go have a Christian fest. He gonna deal with some niggas who believe. And, 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 and oh, I'm an Israelite, but I'm using the name JT. The scripture says be circumspect, because I'm going to walk like the apostle of the time. Say, this going to be a fucking fight if we go on there. That's right. There's no point. There's no point. That's right. Because this nigga, what? This nigga go to greet me, me and this brother. Yeah, yeah. Like these ISGPK niggas, and we wasn't even go to that shit anyway. Back in the day, these niggas invited me <laughs> and Benji to the. Oh, he was there. He was there. <laughs> they gave us the time. <laughs> And we was going to go to me like, you know, fuck it. We're not going. Bro. If you are not That's a Hebrew, Hebrew Israelite, yeah. if you are not a Hispanic, if you are not a Native American, do not, do not come to this party. <laughs> fuck, bro. They had Probably. a sister there. Uh, right, but, but no, Probably. but no. The niggas did though. They literally threw the barbecue, man. But we can't go in there. Because if we going to walk up, all right, we going to greet this brother. <laughs> This brother gonna agree because they used to teach by us, and I don't think they was up to nothing nefarious like trying to jump us or no shit. They genuinely wanted us yeah, to come. Yeah. They watched us teach, you know. They like you know, but nevertheless, yeah, so those. these niggas, we can't come there. I'm gonna greet this brother. This brother gonna say, "JC, I'm a no." Mm -hmm. Be circumspect not to make not miss the other guys. Mm -hmm. We are gonna be having a regular conversation. Niggas gonna miss the chip. Well, wow, this ain't the chip, Mur Gonna be in the phone like, yeah, you see me and this white woman, they gonna say, yeah, that's the mark of the beast. Uh -huh. I'm gonna just flip out. It wasn't prudent. It wasn't a prudent man. It's good to say it. A prudent man throws the snares on the way, but a prudent man see it in the park. Paraphrasing real quick. I got you. Uh -huh. Read that last, the, the last three verses of that over. Cause God. it's gonna be a fucking fight, man. This is on um, Second Corinthians six. Uh, 6 and 16. It says, And what agreement hath the temple of the Most High with idols? None. Like I said, this nigga gonna walk up talking about the white woman of Mark of the Beast. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him I just fucked like three of them. It's an embargo, brother. This one, he gonna talk about the embargo. I'm gonna tell you, no. No. Man. No. Y'all know poor people. The scriptures say rich and poor, small and great. Niggas that can't even spell embargo, man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't know the name Lord, we don't know the name. Mm -hmm. When the scripture tell you in Acts 4 and 12, yeah, that's another one, that no name, uh, there's only one name under heaven given amongst men by which we must be saved. He said, I will restore to them a pure language. Go ahead. He also said, what? I have manifested thy name unto them who you have given me out of the world. Reference the paraphrase. So the true men of the Lord have the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. Mm -hmm. You just don't because you are not a prophet. The Lord said he revealed the secrets of his servants, the prophets. Hey, that ain't you, nigga. Hey, and that's like, you know, you got to understand, these niggas are heathens too. Yeah. 
easy. They easy, man. The name of the Lord is dreadful amongst the heathen. Mm -hmm. And it's really going to Esau and these other heathen that you niggas are still used to. Because the name is a reputation. And when you hear about where your Alba Shimmy Howard Child got coming, you you will be on board. shall be delivered. Oh, that's that Revelation 22. Again, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's right, bro. No, you, you can get it to what? What you that? Uh, Ecclesiastes get that, 1. Then get that Timothy, though. Come on, I got you. This is Ecclesiastes 1 and 15. It says, That which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is uh, wanting cannot be numbered. All right? So, basically, that was which was already cooking. You can't you can't come uh into the straight man. You can't you can't be a a, a true prophet. You was a nigga back then. Now you just a, a nigga wearing fringes. Yeah, you know. That's pretty much it. You know, yeah, you you you, you want to you want to handle the word of the Most High deceitfully, mm -hmm. telling telling people uh you know such and such is the M O to the T and the B mm -hmm. when it's not. You know, if you ain't if you're not speaking according to the scriptures. You just going off. That's right. That's right. You know? You and see, but, but see, the, the niggas that's around you, they comfortable with going off because they go mm -hmm. their whole life is going off. Go ahead. Kind of. Yeah, no, that's pretty much that's, that's perfect. That's you can look deep to them niggas, but you ain't coming around here with that bullshit. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You know, you can go to your family picnic. Be an Israelite. Be not. Yeah. You know, you, you, you know, the Dr. Umar shit, you can sound <laughs> deep around these stupid niggas with these big words. Yeah. Hey, but the Spirit of the Lord covering all of that. The Spirit of the Lord smashing all of that bullshit you got. That's right. And you don't have to be educated, so to speak. You know? That's why the scripture says it's better than one that has small understanding than fear of the Lord, man. Right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I was going to say. You come around here with that shit, and I am a prime witness. You come around here trying to be too deep, your ass gonna get fucking rebuked. And that's right. not that's not it, bro. We not here to be the deepest niggas in the world, bro. We here to teach the gospel. It's a simplicity in your how shot. And yes. that's deep. Yeah. It's deep. It's deep already. First mm -hmm. and foremost, if you want to go into some classics and some deep breakdowns, look, I can go into that. But it's shit, it's gonna go over your head anyway. That's right. That's right. really for the brothers. You really need that education and, and knowing these. But look, it's deep to know. Listen, if you know that the Lord only, if you know and believe, right? And this is to the flock, right? If you know and believe that the Lord only died and came to save the Israelites, the 12 tribes, our seed just been scattered abroad, that smashes so many doctrines. That's man. right. It's going to smash Catholicism, Christianity, Islam, feminism, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just knowing that one thing. Yeah. Matter of fact, get John 7 and 38 real quick. Real mm -hmm. quick. Because this debunk all them false prophets and fake Israelites. Because them the worst ones. The Dr. Umar niggas will go ahead. John 7 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers yeah. of living water. Just knowing that alone is deep. That's right. You don't have to get all deep with these niggas, man. They don't even believe this. 
Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontent, incontinent, slacker, fierce, despisers of those that are good and you know real quick one thing that you will notice about all of these um individuals that got that 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 fit into this category in particular with the with the uh part where it says um like uh disobedient to parents a lot of these guys they'll come up under certain individuals they'll they'll be woken up by certain individuals and be taught by certain individuals and these the same niggas that's teaching this bullshit, man. You came up saying you want to move, white nigga. Saying and asked us what was this. You right. seen the sign and you said what was this, and I looked at you stupid, and I said, "Listen, keep reading." Huh? And I'm talking about that monkey lance, nigga. You learned this from us. We know you wrong. I want to say the f word so bad. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> Man, I'm fucking boiling, bro. All these beef niggas. Nigga, you was a nigga that wasn't shit, nigga. Uh, I remember the very first. You asked, you asked me, what's this? He was like, they tell people, speak, talk to the speaker. What's this? We the Israelites. Oh, yeah. On that stupid ass bike. Read. Read, bro. Traitors. I know. Oh, oh, hey, did it work? <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect timing. It's a fucking traitor. Yep. Go ahead. Traitors, petty, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahweh. Oh, oh, oh. And that's why they say, oh, you can take this. You can take that. Because they know it's going to get them a little pleasure for a little season, man. Mm -hmm. It's going to get them, they're going to prolong their wickedness for a little more. So what they're going to do is, uh, what they're going to do is, um, uh, Keep doing it well. Let, let me go ahead and take this this shot, so to speak, so I can get my little money and shit. Because they love us a pleasure more than love us a Yahweh Bosh you our shot. That's why I don't have problems lying to you niggas and asking for money. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Mm -hmm. For this sort. Oh, so like, which means they're going to be out there teaching. Which means they're gonna be out there uh, uh, doing videos like the Israelites. They're gonna be at the family barbecue telling you you are Israelite. Or they're gonna be rapping. That monkey, I mean Israelite, don't call me black no more. <laughs> That's a nigga black as fuck now. <laughs> what happened? You got the black nigger answer. Right, it's the blackest shit in the world. Hang on, let go. Boom, boom. Get the shit the fuck. You niggas stink. Breathe. For this for of this sort are they. Which creep into houses and lead captive silly women. Oh, then we get we gonna get your woman to the elder brother. Have I ever asked any of y'all for y'all woman, man? Hell no. The elder Uriah, 
No. Benji, Malcolm, and no. Malcolm, and Safari, all these brothers, they, y'all, they actually, we just, we popped up on the line. Look, bro. You can't have her. Hear about you, bro. <laughs> you don't even want to hear about this. So you got to you know, start at the bottom, bro. Yeah, these brothers is right. They go how to bitches me. Look, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is folly, man. Like you niggas are going to die. That's what but know. that's what they're talking about. That's, that's how you know it's gonna be men, so-called teaching the truth that do that, and like the elder Malcolm. Man, that's that's women friendly doctrine. Cause they want that fucking money. Go ahead. Says I'm gonna start at the uh, beginning of the verse again. Even that nigga Gunner says I can't change for her no mammy. <laughs> no mammy. They waking it up, bro. <laughs> Sebastian, go ahead. The second Timothy three and six, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, mm -hmm. led away with diverse lusts. Tell them to leave their husband. Ever go ahead. Clocking, no, no, go ahead. Ever learning and never be never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Some new God, some new shit every day. <laughs> that's, exactly. that's a new God every day. Some new shit, bro. That's what it is. But that. I'm serious, it's funny, but that's that's yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. what it means. Con, con, con. That's that's read it over. Con. New shit every day. Ever learning Mars Hill. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Or like the scripture say, like the brother Yahweh Don mentioned it earlier, it's a pleasure to get that sin of Like this ain't Jake, they gotta go to fucking mouth, but you know, they actually understand the truth is deep. They understand the truth is real, but a lot of these niggas so bitch made. They don't get the credit for making it. Mm. They can't, they want to be the one when a motherfucker say, Oh, where you learn this from? They can't even <laughs> say, I learned this from the men at GMS. Because the, the only problem, yeah, I understand. Because the only, look, they be trying to fuck these, and it go back to the scripture, I don't want to say it, but we got to say it. They be trying to fuck these little bitches talking about stuff like this, man. So when they ask you, Well, where you learn this, baby? Well, I, I don't want them to go to the to, to the brothers yeah, 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 yeah. Look, I made this shit up. Yeah. I was sitting down with a sniper came to my table, tapped me on the shoulder. Like, well, I had a dream. Genie left. Folly, <laughs> man. Nigga rubbed a little left. Genie left. <laughs> what that nigga say on South Central? Genie left. That name ring a bell to you, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas had a genie left. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, man. They yeah. be a shame, man. Go ahead. This is genie was a white woman, for the record. Genie left. <laughs> well, not the one I'm talking about, but that bitch is practice, man. Go ahead. You want that Zephaniah? That nigga scared of the white woman. Go ahead. Yeah, that? read that. Time. This is Zephaniah. Zephaniah 1 and 12. It says, and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. Mm -hmm. And all is, you know what? We still Israelites, so to speak, in the flesh. Because you know, you gonna you get caught out. That's why he said in Ezekiel was at the ninth chapter when he talked about the mark the exemption. He said he's gonna start at the elders. He started with these men who thought they was teaching something. Go ahead. And punish the men that are settled on their leaves. That's them niggas. Mm -hmm. Tell that unity camp, niggas. Hmm. We all going how you how did that work? Do you all break up into camps on the block where only your camp camp together? No, or do y'all no. group us so, together so with amongst each other? They all in the marshes. See how you feel he real. He got the blood and crisps on the stage. Yeah, how you feel real? How you feel real when one of these niggas brings something out that's not the truth? They not look. How that's, you feel that's real the point. doing that? That's the point. You don't believe it. They not just they not set for the defensive. That's why I said mm -hmm. it's just gonna be a fight, man. We're gonna be sitting there chopping it up. You know the white woman be marking the beef, brother. The fuck you gonna just sit there? <laughs> uh oh, you know we can take the what you call it to keep your job. Yeah. See, this is why Jake gotta get get this is why Jake gotta get left, man. You know? Cause if we had to wait on all of these Jakes to get their mind right, forget about uh being in the wilderness. We'll just expire around here waiting for these Jakes. You will get smashed by Esau. <laughs> Look, it's a new dawn, brother. See, you'll be waiting on Jake forever. <laughs> Cause you can't, like the elder brother said. If somebody bring, if somebody say that the MOTV is not what it is, that we got to stop everything right there. The whole doctrine is, is down the bushes now. With that, 
a little leaven leaven a whole lump. Yep. Go ahead, Duat. Right. That's right. With that alone, go ahead. It says, and punish the men that are set on their lees, that say in their heart, Yahweh will not do good, neither will he do evil. Therefore, their good shall become a booty, and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. That's pretty much the point. Keep going. Salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith 
um, which was once delivered unto the saints. So he said the things that were common to salvation. Again, that's one deep, man. Not trying to sit here and remix the doctrines, not trying to make up whatever he wanted to be, not trying to sound too to the Don't hoes. make a like rap song, nigga. Go ahead. No, nah, it, it's not for the hoes, man. Uh, continuing on in verse 4, it says, For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord power. And our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. That's right. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, after which destroyed them that believed not. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. So hey, the people who know this, the people who this for, this ain't the first time that we got this information, man. And at the same way that that's the case, the niggas who was in this and fell out, this wasn't their first time doing that either, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody is coming back in their same lot, going back to that Revelation of the 22nd chapter. Hey, if you was unjust in the past life, you weren't just now. Mm -hmm. If you were, hey, if you was already foreordained to the condemnation, that's what you had to do now, man. And there's nothing that you can do about it. You can't remix your way out this shit. You can't too deep your way out this shit. And as the elder brother said, you might as well go rap. And continue to double burial, double burial glizzies, man. But that's all you got, nigga. Probably. <laughs> 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 Go ahead. Uh, that's it. I got. It. I got. It. Go ahead. This is uh, Titus one and ten. Perfect. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses. Teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. And at the end of the day, that's the spirit that all of these niggas are in, man. They holding hands with Muslims because they getting money off that. They telling you not to hate Edomites because they getting money off that. They telling you that the MOTB is a white woman because they getting money off that, man. All this, all these niggas that's telling you all this shit got five houses. Got a net worth of twenty million dollars. These niggas getting money, man. They, they good. The real men of the Lord strike. We struggling over here, man. We good, but we we ain't ain't no five houses, man. We gonna tell you what's real, and, and, and that's what it is, man. You know. No, you know. Go ahead, bro. Y'all can y'all can let it out. Let's do that something right. Real, real quick. This Job thirteen and seven. Speak because we talking about the false prophet says, Will you speak wickedly for the most high and talk deceitfully for him? Will you accept his person? Will you contend for the most high? Y'all ain't gonna do it, man. You ain't even gonna do it for the vine. You know, y'all gonna continue to, to right order gram. Y'all gonna continue to yeah, use this word, deceitful. handle this word deceitfully. You're gonna continue to heap to yourself more sins and your whole congregation going down with you. And you the one put them there. Yeah. yeah Ultimately, y'all yeah. watching me on shot, but yeah. Yeah. Now, there's some righteous. I'm not saying everybody in this camp is wicked either. But there's some righteous people that's gonna come out of that nigga, but you ain't gonna be one of them. Mm. All the leadership gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. Because most of these dudes that's in these camps, whether it be ISUK, Sakari, ISUIC, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know what it's called, bro. I'm sorry. IU, IUIC. When these dudes see me on the street, they respect me, man. Right. They, they they see me all the time. They see the elder mama all the time. That's right. They respect us. A lot of them used to come to the 90% of these, these dudes that's in these Chicago camps outside of IUIC because we've been cutting them and I should be paid the longest, you know. But a lot of the, outside of that, with, with some of them too, they, most of them used to come listen to us to CBS, man. They just knew, look, this, this DMS shit was on another level. They couldn't, they couldn't really, whatever, you know, but <laughs> if they snap out of it, they snap out of it. If they don't, they don't, you know. Scripture said, be ye diligent and make your call and let for sure. That's, that's what I'm over. Yeah. But we can, what you got? Uh, Jeremiah 23. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, go ahead. This is the book of Jeremiah 24. Mm -hmm. It says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord Yahweh. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people, 
Ye have scattered my flock and mm. driven them away and have not visited them. Visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord your house. Mm. Yeah, so, hey, all of these things that, hey, the Lord said every idle word, man. So you teaching that the MOTV is not the MOTV. You teaching that we are currently in the new covenant. All of these different things that you teaching, teaching that the, uh, the new moon is the full moon. All of these false doctrines that you're teaching are going to be required at your hands, man. And there's nothing that you can do about it. Unless you repent. The Lord going to fuck y'all up, man. Mm -hmm. I'm a nigga for Shabbat always on Friday night. You can have sex on the Sabbath. <laughs> yeah. You do it in the it's butt. It's Friday night. And then you can, with the dead, you can do anything you want on it. Where, where, where is this in the, this in the scriptures? Now, nevertheless, you get the message. Mm -hmm. you repent or die. Go ahead. So with that, we hope this video was edifying. As always, we're going to give all honor, all glory, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Makakwadash. So long as our elders and apostles of the great millstone. Until next time, we say Shalom. 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 Shal